Hello technical analysis fans, this is coach Victor here at Safehouse and today I want to talk to you about, well, <laughs> what else can we say, Bitcoin going crazy and almost about to make a new all-time high, oh my goodness, let's get cooking. Here we are, Bitcoin chart on Bybit BTC USD pair, wow. Look at that. Look at that. All time high 69182.5 on this exchange, on this pair from the 8th of November 2021. There it is. Standing proud with an alert on it. Ready to go. Here we are. And what a crazy week once again. I mean, last week was already nuts with uh, how much was that? Like 24% or this year. Let's just say this year. Yeah since January been up 75% <laughs> can you imagine buying something after it shoots up 75% because I sure can't but it's possible of course no financial advice that's the last weekly level on the chart available that monthly level comes from here October November 2021 and price is well above it also however Last month's candle did close below it, which is more of a bearish sign. And he's like, what? Did he just say bearish here, all-time highs? Yes, I'm just saying that mechanism is more bearish. So since this is still the fifth of the month and we still have 26 days left, if price pulls back below the weekly, below the previous month high, and below this monthly level, then it's going to play out bearish because this candle all of a sudden turns red. That would be the bearish scenario. There we go. Nice and simple, you see? So uh, on the low time frames, we're going to have a look at that as well. This weekly candle so far, we just moved down a bit, didn't even visit the monthly level. Already taken off. Daily candle. Now this starts looking a lot better or at least more uh, more detailed. Yeah? Daily candles, bam, bam, bam. Above, above, below, above. So dancing around this, but in the end, holding the monthly level as support and then higher. Fine. This was Sunday, this was yesterday, and today has taken the previous day high and has already pulled back. And what has it done? Oh, it has revisited the weekly level, but so far just as support. In other words, flipping a resistance to support. So the next step for ultra bullishness is today's open right there needs to be flipped to support as well. In other words, this candle turns green, then you've got yourself the all-time highs pretty much in the pocket because they're right there. That would be the mechanism just from a candlestick perspective. That's it. It's that simple. So um, we can even go down into lower time frames, really. Market structure so far continues bullish, bullish, bullish. That means higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Even this pullback is still a higher low compared to everything else before. And the weekly level is holding. So there's nothing from a market structure perspective that this is bearish. Okay. Order flow readings are a different thing. Yeah, that's been quite insane because you just see millions and millions and millions of longs pouring in and price going higher. So as long as that's the case, then bullish it is fine. And like I've mentioned in previous videos, it gets interesting when that's not the case anymore. When the money comes in, but price doesn't move, then you got to start paying attention in either direction. In any case, here we are. This monthly level is has been flipped to support. This weekly level has been flipped to support as long as that stays like that. And that's the way it is. Okay. All right. So let's cover the possible scenarios then. Bullish scenario is happening right now. The weekly level is back tested as support. Let's actually turn on the VWAP. Oh, it's above. Hmm, interesting. End price just needs to go past a daily open. Yeah, up here. And you go for the all-time highs, flippity flip and go. That would be the most bullish scenario possible. It just keeps going. Nice and simple. And one of the early signs could be the fact that this weekly level, 65,560, right there, is holding as support. Okay? However, if that's not the case, and this starts going like this and flipping this to resistance, and at least in locally, you have a little bit of bearishness or weakness, which is still in the grand scheme of things, totally fine. And we go back to this range. So that's another possibility. The price starts coming back down here and starts going sideways down here. Then the next question is what happens to the monthly level? If that is back tested as support, that's fine. Still, everything's fine. That would all still be a bullish scenario. This can then crawl back up and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, yeah? This is another bullish possibility. Initially a bit more of a pullback, but in the end, a buy the dip situation. Yeah? By the dip, of course, it's something I would just handle with care because of the fact that price has gone up so impulsively. What do I mean by that? It just goes up and up, and there's the retracements are very shallow. And as you can see, you know, people are now putting their stop loss here. 
There's stop losses all over the place here, for sure here and here and for sure here. And for sure, of course, lo look at all these lows. This is like a one, two, three, like four times the same bottom pretty much. Yeah? So there's a lot of potential to the downside to trigger a cascade or an avalanche of stop losses. That's something you just got to be aware of. Don't have to be scared of it, just aware of it. It means you do need to use stop losses. In my humble opinion, even if you're paper trading, because you got to get used to the fact that there needs to be a protection for your trades. You know? No stop loss is not acceptable, in my opinion. But hey, no financial advice. As long as the strength remains, this is not a problem. But it's a possible mechanism. What does that mean? Well, flash crash is possible. Of course it is. You know? Does that mean you don't have to participate? Well, that's up to you. It's difficult to play stop losses in the sense that they are obvious. So they, there's a high chance you can get stopped out before the next move up comes. Yep, that can also happen. But hey, that's why risk management is important. I mean, these are the kind of concepts we teach at the Vanguard Safe House. You know, that's what those videos are for. And that's why we keep talking about this. Because you need to ingrain this into your brain or you're going to destroy your account. Yeah? And you're going to say goodbye to your capital really quick. So it's really, really important that you learn to do things properly. That's why if you like what you see, hit like and subscribe. That helps the channel a lot. That's why we have that offer in the premium section to do things properly. So that was the, um, those were the scenarios to the upside. Well, actually we already discovered, uh, discussed both. It's really, really simple. Weekly holds, new high, new all time high, let it rip. If it enters price discovery mode above here, of course it can you know spend some time here and pull back and yeah just you know if that's really the case then i want to see it happen and then we can talk about it yeah but for now if it starts ripping just let it rip look at what the so many stocks have been doing once it gets going it can just go and go and go and uh, not look back for quite a while okay so you have to be a little bit careful in that sense if it starts flipping the important levels to resistance then there you go that's the, uh, the possible scenario to the downside but this is all very very local yeah we're on a four hour time frame this is very local if you want to see big high time frame changes then this daily candle needs to close lower down here than below the monthly level then the weekly candle where does that one close that's interesting because we had five days and 16 hours left in this week but there's no guarantee that it'll close above the weekly level or below it so that's already an important statement and of course we just started the month so 26 days left that's going back to the point at the beginning you just gotta be patient to see where these higher time frame candles will close yeah i'm not FOMO in it for sure there's so many things to do on the charts there's so many assets there is no need to FOMO into anything ever ever in my opinion but that's just my personal opinion then i'm gonna head over to discord and post some updates because i do have some other assets i want to cover with very interesting possibilities so um i'll see you on discord we do have the two-week trial still pre-trial going that means you can for two weeks you can check everything out and see if it's a fit for you so i hope to see you there take care bye bye choose elevate your mastery in trading join the safe house vanguard today